And welcome to Mallard Creek High School just outside of the Queen City in Charlotte, North Carolina as we welcome you to the first ever middle school city championship here just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Alongside Quentin Brown, I'm Ford Martin. The CMS Middle School Championship between the Ranson Raiders and the Pirates of Piedmont. Quentin, we got an excellent matchup here yeah. tonight. Beautiful skies on, yes, a, we on do. a beautiful November eve. Afternoon. Yes, we do. And we're excited about how they got here. Uh, the Piedmont uh, defeated the J.M. Alexander and Ransom defeated Crestdale to make it to the championship game. Mm -hmm. Uh, awesome weather today for a game, and we're getting ready for the to the coin co toss. And we're excited about this game, and it's something that's long overdue for Charlotte. These are two teams, some of the best in the city. The Ransom Raiders, they have not lost a game in five-plus years. While you look at Piedmont, they have not lost a game in nine years. So uh, something's got to give here today. I think we can't think of two teams that – that come together that have not lost in so long, um, doing something that's you know not been heard of before. You know, middle school championship. Definitely, uh, that, that's something pretty cool for the kids to experience. And this has been going on in Charlotte for a long time. Uh, different conferences have undefeated teams, so they've had conversations forever about who is the best team. So now we're getting ready to find out who is the best team. So beautiful day for football today, and I'm just excited to watch it. All right, so as we get started right here, what are some things that you would like to see? You know, these, you, we talked in pregame before we came on air, but these are two teams that love to run the ball. Now, today, is that something you kind of expect? You know, I mean, like I said, uh, they, they love to run the ball a lot, back and down the fourth on the field. Uh, do you expect something similar today, or what, what do you kind of expect for today's matchup? Well, in watching some of the previous games to get here, I found that there was a – the majority of these teams are run heavy uh, when it comes to their offense, so I'm expecting a lot of uh, a lot of running is going to go on today. You might have uh, a couple of trick trick plays. Uh, Ransom has some. Both teams have some six two receivers in middle school, which is unheard of. For so I'll I'll expect they'll be going downfield quite often once you know to kind of catch them off guard. But uh, pretty much what I'm seeing uh, from the previous games. All right, so we're about to get set up right here. Coin toss is just finished and just wrapped up. And as you can see on your screen right now, the refs are meeting at midfield. And another look right there for Piedmont and the Pirates. They will be in gray. Ransom will be in the all-white this afternoon. All-white snowflake-style look for the, for the Ransom Raiders. And then Piedmont Pirates in your gray and red. Uh, beautiful day, as we mentioned. We're about to get started. Uh, any any little prediction that we got here before we get going? Who you got for today? Whoever makes the least mistakes is going to be the winner. Uh, some of the key guys that I was able to speak with some of the coaches are Joshua Persons, uh, who is a running back, linebacker, Kellen Rendleman, Ja'Kai Rankin, uh, Jonah Holloway, Zayden Duckett, Marty Connor, and we also have a uh, Austin Ballou, whose dad played for the University of Wisconsin. And on the other side of the ball, we have uh, some other special players that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, and that will be Jamil Watson will be one of the special guys. Asad Davis, Philip Poole, and Terrell Wheatley. Uh, so those are some special guys on both sides of the ball. And we're getting ready for kickoff. Yeah. And for those who do not know, this is not 15-minute quarters like you see in the higher-ups. It's eight-minute quarters here for tonight, so a short game. So those who do not pay attention much to middle school football, eight-minute quarters kicking off from the 40-yard uh, line. And we're taking place from number 10 of Marty Connor. We'll be taking those duties, kicking it off here today. About to get set up here on a beautiful afternoon here in just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And excuse me, I, I believe I am wrong. It's Jonah Holloway, excuse me, will be taking the place kicking duties from the 40. The stage is set, and here we go from Mallard Creek High School, and that one will not go in the end zone. I'll take a turn. Well, he's picking it up. And he's going to take it back the other way. Coming across now is Davis. Davis gets some running room out to the side and knocked out of bounds to the 20. I tell you what. I think we might have some place kickers back for him. That was a big leg he had. Definitely. And he go in the end zone. It turned just before. That was like a punt almost exactly what you wanted to do. Definitely, right definitely. And that was a side Davis on the return. 
And they're going to bring it out to about the, looks like you're going to be about at the 16, 17. Yeah, they're going to bring it for the 17 yard line and marching his way out into the field. For those Ranson Raiders, quarterback Jamal line. Watson also plays linebacker as well, another team. and He's a big guy. He has a big arm on him, but we'll kind of see what they do for the running game here this afternoon. And three wide on the right. He's pulling heaven here in the right, and the shotgun he's going to have right next to him is Chambers. Start this drive from the 17. Watson. And it's a keeper. He'll take it up and tripped up near the start of the line. He'll gain about three. Three yards. On that quarterback draw there. Kind of got stopped a little bit on uh, when he got the ball right there. Almost tripped up, kept his feet up for a little bit, but not too long. And they gain it through in the play, and it'll be second down. We're looking at about second and seven for the Raiders. And he get it to 28 for a first down. Ransom Raiders team in no rush right now, just taking their time. Got one receiver split out in the far side. The Back, he's going deep. Long ball right here. He's just overthrows the right there. Well, we so definitely know he, he, he has the arm. See, that's Hubert that he threw the ball. That was, that was four, and he's going to bring up a third and seven now. Need to get to the 28. Ransom Raiders, as we mentioned, have not lost in five plus years. And the other side of Piedmont and the Pirates have not lost in nine years, which is almost unheard of. When <laughs> yes, you it is. Two teams <laughs> come together, but I guess when you throw their uh, middle school football championship series, uh, that's that's pretty spectacular. So here we go. It's a fake out. And he keeps it. He's going to try to split out wide. And, and he gets the first down. Again enough, stretch the ball out to the far side. Got his Good left hand out. And that will Watson. move the chains. The the so that's another Acosta heating and cooling down. electrical. Down first down, the, the household name for quality and trust. And we've, him, we've definitely been calling his name quite often uh, through the playoffs. Uh, he's a random name that you hear throughout the whole game. We'll be yelling out Jamil Watson. So Watson will again start from the gun. He'll have his man to his left. Three receivers split out here on the near side, one out far. They're going to hand this one off. Nearly stuffed at the line the of scrimmage on the handoff there to Davis. Asad Davis on the carry. And and Davis right tried to, was just stuck immediately. And look at that Piedmont Pirates defense no already getting the backfield the immediately in there on that one. So ten. great play by the defense. Didn't gain anything on that one to make it a second and ten. Need to get to the 40. And that was Jeremiah Mobley on the stop. One of the young men that the coaching staff spoke very highly of. From the gun again. Here comes Watson under pressure. Watson and he, down he goes. He stopped in the backfield. What a play there by Lamontre Lindsay. Getting in the backfield and taking him down. Look at right there. What a play right there. Came in on guard. It came on the far side. Got around. And just right there you saw it. Jamal Watson. And nowhere to go. And third, it looks like they have to get to the 40 for the first. So third and 20 here. What do you do if you're them? You get a little quarterback draw, at least get a little running room. We'll see. Now they're going to pass. He's going to throw a deep one, and he's going to overthrow this one. And the pass is incomplete. So incomplete. That Brings one was a deep ball intended for Phillip Poole. Or, yeah. For the Raiders. Had the space and created it, just overthrew a little bit, and they're going to bring out the punt team for this one, I believe. And so being fourth down, we'll, we'll see here. This, they're going to line up like they're going to go for it. This is a 
This is something you don't really expect right here. I'm thinking they're going to punt it. No, they're going uh, for it. They're going to go for it. And he's, he's going to be taken down. In the backfield. Wow, that's going to be a bit of a head-scratch remove to yeah, that was different. not put that one away. Let's take a look at this one. Had no room there and immediately just taken down Jeremiah Mobley right there, getting in the backfield and taking him down. So I, I got to ask here, Quint, I mean, like, what's the thinking into something? Like, do they not know it's fourth down? Because I don't know. The coach seen, twenty. he's seen something we didn't see. Either way, this is gave Piedmont a heck of a gift. In the red zone. They're in the red zone immediately here. Here's Zayden Duckett. They're going to hand this one right up the middle for a gain of, I believe, three or four. Uh, yes. Number seven, Zayden Duckett. Pick up on the play. We'll call it two. Brings up second down and eight. Second and eight. It's Joshua Pearson there on the handoff. Zayden Duckett handed that one to him. They're going to hand it out here in the gun for the ten. They can get a first down at the one. Quick this pass out. Pass and just pass outside. Pass incomplete. Pass was intended to number 11, Jeremiah Mobley. Incomplete pass to, pass to Jeremiah Mobley. It it's third down. So they could still get the first here, right at the one. Big third down. We'll see if this Ransom Raiders defense can bend but not break. They're going to bring some pressure. They're going to hand it off. And oh, he stopped in the backfield. He is stopped immediately in the backfield right there. I mean, what a play there. That was actually Terrell Wheatley, number 58, there in the background. Got in the backfield immediately there. What a play. It's going to bring it fourth down. We'll see, uh, don't see the field goal unit coming out. And they're going for it. Wonder if we'll see a drop, see a drop kick here or something from the 11. They're going to go for it. Rolls right. Throws in the back of the end zone. And incomplete. It's incomplete pass. Had his hand on it, but that just could not hold on to it there. The that was they're going for Jeremiah Mobley. You see right there in the screen, just the had it there. So a, a, a Ransom Raiders team <laughs> that decided, hey, you know what, we're going to go for the fourth and 20. Uh, it didn't work out. Right. So. They were, be able, they were able to help hold uh, the line. This Ransom Raiders, as I mentioned, have been but don't break. And now they'll take over here in their own end. So again, from the gun. First and ten. Jamal Watson from the gun. And he's the keeper. Hand this one up the middle. And he'll gain about five or six possibly on that one. The quarterback keeper was the number two, Jamel Watson. He and gets the ball to the 16-yard line. We'll pull with a pickup of five. Brings up second and five. It's going to be a pickup of five on there. So second and five. Good keeper there. Good start to this drive for the Raiders. And, as, and, and let me ask your coach, like, as, as middle schoolers right now, we always think about we watch the NFL, we watch college, we watch high school. How challenging is it for a quarterback when you're playing middle school ball as far as getting all these plays, kind of know where everyone's at? We got to remember, these are middle school kids right here. How challenging is it for some of these kids? I do believe that they try and keep it as simple as possible for the middle schoolers. Uh, they're not going to do a, a lot of things that are, are really complex. So I, as, as we're watching this game, we're, we're watching a little bit, a lot of quarterback keepers. We're some deep, deep balls downfield, pretty basic and vanilla in comparison to what you'll do at the next level. So a timeout there on the field after a hit in the backfield of 2.23 remaining. So we're going to take a break real quick. We'll be right back from Pima High School for the middle school championships.
And welcome back here to Mallard Creek High School, which is just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, for the middle school championship series. Alongside Quentin Brown, I and Ford Martin, glad to have you here on tonight's Bay Hackle Sports Game of the Week, which is brought to you by Queen City Audio, Video and Appliances, your outdoor kitchen and tailgate yeah. headquarters. The play yeah, up the middle is going to be incomplete. incomplete. screen pass. And it's going to make it a fourth down. So, look, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If you're going to go for it you're thinking fourth what? 20, I think you're not even blinking to yes, think about it. Yes. not even hesitating to go for it on fourth and five. So I'm getting the impression that throughout the entire game, they're going on it on fourth down no matter where they are. <laughs> I believe so. so 2.17 to go here. Tied at zero. Ransom with the ball in white. Piedmont in gray. Thank you for joining us here today. The Bay Hackle Sports Game of the Week and the Middle School Championships here. And they may have gotten to jump offside. We'll see. They did. Flags are on the field. We'll see if Penalty's we had going to be encroachment. Against All right, so that's, that's going to make it right five. there. Very interesting. Down. We'll call it two. This is going to make it fourth and a long one. Right. They get another one of those. They'll get a first down. In the backfield again will be Watson. He's trying to say they can make him jump again. No play clock for these guys here. They're out of... Looks like they're audibly now. Put them under center here. We're going to have like a touch push. What are we going to have? It looks like they and did get the first move down. The pile, and that's going to be another first down. And a heating Acosta, or excuse me, Acosta Heating, Cooling, and Electrical First Down. The household name for quality and trust. And I believe that was Jam Jamal Watson on the carry for the first down for the Ransom Raiders. Rants again in the gun. They've had the same formation. And, and I guess you would see this a lot in middle school play where it keeps the, keep, like you said, keeps it simple for the quarterback. And speaking of the quarterback, he'll run one up the middle to the left the side and he'll gain around eight. So a nice, nice run up the middle there for Jamal Watson. That's been their go-to guy throughout the uh, playoffs, Jamal Watson on the keepers. Um, I'm thinking eventually they're going to go downfield. One of their top guys going downfield was, uh, I think it's Drew, Drew Bradley is a guy that they went to often throughout the uh, playoffs. It's second and about two or three, I'm thinking. Yeah, second and two now. Watson now. He Could drops back. This one again has a man and incomplete just outside. Nice coverage there by Kellen Rendleman, who applied some of the pressure. Brings up third down and two. So third and two right here now. And remember, fans, today's game is the Ortho Carolina is the official sports medicine providers of the Middle School Sports Championship. Don't forget to join us for the Downer Law Firm halftime. Third and three for the Ransom Raiders. Again, Watson will be in the gun, and pretty much the same formation we've kind of seen all night long. Three receivers split out wide on the right, and a flag, and we're going to get a false start. I believe it might be in the left tackle. Indeed, it was. So they're going to go back five yards. Looks like the left tackle of Brian Seeley was the one that jumped. So we're looking at third and eight for the Raiders. The gun again, Watson. He'll run left, an option play, but he'll keep it himself and he'll gain about two and get to the 30 yard line. Gets the ball to about the 30 yard line. And I'll bring up a fourth and five from the 30. Need to get to the 35. They're actually going to put him now. They're going to reset the ball and put him at the 29. So fourth and six now for Ransom. And that was Jeremiah Mobley on the stop. 45 seconds to go here in the first. 
Rolls right. Sutter steps. He's on throw and, got, and just too high. And a flag on the play. As that was intended for Davian Hubert as he was streaking across the field. And what we're going to have? We're going to have holding Davian against Ransom. Ranson. That's going to bring it. They should decline this penalty. We'll see. And they it, will. It was declined. So this will bring out. Piedmont and their offense, and I don't believe uh, believe if you're a punter for either team, I don't think today is your day. I nope, believe. you're not punting today. <laughs> <laughs> it's your day off. The offense now for Piedmont, their last drive was stalled. They actually had started inside the 15, got inside the 6. Here's a pitch, run inside the 25, and tackled right about the 24-yard line. Nice and that was run there Davion Goldie Hubert. They call him Goldie. Goldie was on the stop. As I mentioned, Piedmont's last drive stalled inside the red zone. They went for it on fourth down and a throw in the back of the end zone, which was end up dropped by Jeremiah Mobley there on tight coverage by Ransom. And Second now down, we'll call it four. in the gun now, he's going to shift now his, his back of... Joshua Pearson to his right. Going to hand it to right. He's a split He's one moving. tackle. Spits three tackles. Shifts his way. Spin move inside the five and gets to the three-yard line. What a run by number two, Joshua Pearson. Uh, how about that? Low on your screen. Look at that little shifty move. Breaking a couple tackles. Kind of used the up, or excuse me, the ref there for a little bit of a pick. And their eventual tackle there by Drew Bradley. So how about that? That's another Acosta heating, cooling, and electrical first down. And he's a guy that throughout the playoffs we've been calling his name quite often. All right, that's going to do it for the first half of play, our first quarter of play. We'll be right back as you're watching tonight's Bayhawk Sports Game of the Week. And welcome back to the Ortho Carolina for the official sports medicine providers of the Middle School Sports Championships alongside Quentin Brown, Iron Ford Martin, start of the second quarter. And, and here we go, Piedmont here from inside the five. They're going to take it up the middle, and we'll see, I believe, right at the one. Or the one-inch line. And looks like they're going to put him right at the, the one. Direct snap was to Joshua Joshua gonna, Person. He gets the ball to about the two. They're going to have it at the two-yard line instead. Brings up a second down and goal. So once again, Jamal Watson. They're going to do a draw play right at the middle. And Wild he's pass. in. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown! Piedmont. Strikes first. Piedmont. To Joshua Person, he did all the work getting up to the field. Here's a look from earlier on his shift, shifty move, getting his way to the five, and he finishes his work on a little wildcat move, take it right up into the end zone. And he's in the record books for the first player ever to score in the Charlotte Middle School playoffs. And they went hurry up right there to the two-point conversion. And they made that an 8-0 ball game. 
and it's Piedmont striking first, eight to nothing. So they went hurry up there on the two point conversion right there. And they put it in the back of the end zone. And I believe what they, I guess they took the touchdown away. I guess now this is the point conversion. The first official yell touchdown, they did a hurry up move. So here we go for the two point conversion. Flag on the field, person trying to extend his way and gets the two yard line of flag. Penalty the flags are on the field. The penalty is holding. That and penalty, that penalty is will be declined right there. Yeah, Quentin, that was yep. a little bit of confusion there. The field, they, so they the official rule touchdown, and here. they put the ball the back first, up at the two-yard line. Scenario. I couldn't figure out what they, they were doing. They did a hurry-up play, and they got the end zone. So the line to gain. Then the I guess that's going to make it a 6-0 yeah, six, six ball game. So a little the extra point the field attempt is no good. Two officials rule touchdown. They apparently took the touchdown away. And that last play, they went for a touchdown. So uh, either way, Pearson's going to have the touchdown either way and makes it a 6-0 ball game. That, that two-point two conversion, I'm thinking they didn't have the ball set? or uh, No, it was a legal shift okay. they had on that play. So and the was moving a little too much All parents there. have to be in the stands. All parents have to be in the stands at all times. You cannot be standing on the track. All parents have to be in a seat in the stands. So six Thank zero you. with seven twelve remaining. Remember, eight minute quarters for this game, and they'll kick this one off from the forty. And, and the last time we had a, they kicked the ball downfield. He got it right at the five yard line, which actually put Rancid back deep in their own field. Here for the Queen City kickoff. Our kickoff brought to you by Queen City Audio, Video, and Appliances, your outdoor kitchen and tailgate headquarters. And back deep to return for the Ransom Raiders is number two, Jamil Watson. So keep it, they're going to do a little onside kick, and they're just going to hold it right there at the 39. Or excuse me, the 41, that is. So recovered by number 12, Philip Poole. A long Ransom kick on the last one that got him pinned back at the wrong five-yard line. line. So the first time Ransom's going to get very good fields, uh, starting field position near here to start this one. With 7.08 remaining. As right there for Ransom. Phillip pulled there. The on the return, one. yes. Raiders take over on the 43. So he was back deep the previous one. Now Jamal Wilson from the gun. Takes his one back, steps back. He's under pressure. A little screen play. And, oh, and he's hit. hit. A big hit right there. Is that one was intended for Davis. Incomplete. He had a big blocker in front of him, but he was on the other side of the play. That was a good read there by Piedmont. To recognize the screen play. Brings up second down and Brings 10. Brings up second and 10 now from the 43. Seven oh one remaining here from Piedmont High School. The Bill School Championships presented by Ortho Carolina. There's a high one. That and it's blocked. High up in the and air. Pass is knocked down what a over play. play. Comes and the other side with Jeremiah Mobley. Jeremiah Mobley. On it. Putting his big balls up was Jeremiah Mobley. Jeremiah Mobley's name. We've called him a lot today. He did have Brings that, that end zone long. drop there on the first possession for Piedmont in the red zone. That time uh, blocks one on a great play. And I had the opportunity to stand next to Jeremiah Mobley. Uh, before the game, pre-game, and Jeremiah Mobley is every bit of 6'2", 6'3". He's a big fella. 6'56 here remaining. Again, Watson in the gun. Quarterback keeper here. He'll get out of bounds and knocked out of bounds on the Piedmont sideline. Gained it about three or four. 45 down to the maybe 46. 
and that's Jamil Watson on the carry for the Raiders. And we know they don't have a punt game at all. And we know Watson, at least we've seen earlier, he, he does have the arm for it. It's just really about, like, you know, not putting too much on those throws that he's had earlier in this game. But overall, we've seen he's a very good runner. And right there, he gains about four right there on the play, and it's going to bring up fourth down. No punter, as you mentioned. <laughs> and they're going to go for it here in their own zone. In the gun again. Quick pass Three out into pass the flats. Just outside, inside the 50. He's going to get one for the 45. He's off to the 40. races. Off to the races, streaking down the sideline. Touchdown Raiders. He's going to put it in. What a play. And we have a ball game. And Ransom now. A little dash to the outside, and he turns on the Jets. What a play. McCrory. The backup quarterback and receiver. No flags. Outside and streaks down the sideline. Look at those jets he turns on right there. What a play. And now they will go for two, possibly. We'll see. Looks like they're set up to go for two, and it's a 6 6 ball game to try and take the lead. Branson, who was struggling offensively. They now have an opportunity to take the lead. To take the lead now here in the second quarter at 5:51 to go. Rolls right outside. Oh, he's got open daylight if he keeps going. Throws to the end zone and it's and dropped. Incomplete. They had two receivers that were side by side to each other. It looked right there. McCorry maybe got in front of. We have a late flag comes in. Maybe some words that were possibly set in the end zone, and we'll see what we're going to have. Might be on sportsmanlike conduct here. And with 5.51 before half, we have a tie ball game. And it looks like head coach Corey Meekins are out there talking to one of his players. We'll see what it's going to be. And they're actually going to pick up the flag. In his way, so, though. No flag on that one. Came out late. And one of our referees is going to talk to Corey Meekins right here. Here's a replay there on that screen. What do you see here, Quentin? Speed. <laughs> That's what I see. Speed. A lot of speed right there for McCorry. The quarterback, wide receiver, safety, only player in the entire roster that's labeled of having three positions, and he put it to work right there. Because the games go by so fast, we're going to have to start looking at these guys and identify them, and so we're going to pick the, the MVPs. So that's something we might want to take a look at. Corey's definitely up for one of them after that long play and a good screen play playing inside. And as that one went for 54 yards. And just waiting here for the Ransom team to come out. Still tied 6-6 after the incompletion on the two-point conversion. So as we get set up for the Queen City kickoff, Queen City Audio, Video, and Appliances, your outdoor kitchen and tailgate headquarters. They're going to bring out the team here for our kicker in the 40-yard line. And it's going to be, once again, the quarterback, Jamal Watson, who just threw that touchdown earlier. He'll put the ball on the tee as we get ready for kickoff, making sure everyone's all set. We saw the last kickoff just a bit ago. It was a bit of a pooch kick that just traveled 10 yards. And here's your Queen City audio, video, and appliances kickoff. Make sure everyone's set up right here. Taking a little bit longer than usual, but here we go. Here's a kickoff that goes right to the 25. That's going to be taken back up to the 30. The 35 splits a tackle and gets to the 36-yard line. 
Piedmont returns the ball to the 36 yard line. Sets so up first down and 10. 36, the first down right here. So now Piedmont, which hasn't had to travel very far down the field for each of these uh, possessions they've had so far. This will be their longest one yet. Uh, what do you want to see out of Piedmont here on this next drive? You know, the last drive, you know, it was all thanks to, you know, just running in the backfield. Right. You had, uh, you know, Pearson really took it over, being a shifty runner as he is. What do you want to see in this next drive? Probably get a little bit more creative, similar to what uh, their uh, co I, I guess similar to what Ransom was doing. Ransom was, was going one direction and switched it up and, and did a screen pass and went downfield on him. Here's Pearson now. He'll gain right at the middle and, being as shifty as he is, broke one tackle and the falls forward for a gain of six. I thought it was a flag on that. It looked like it was a false start, but I. Gets the ball. Yeah, it's going to hold it right there. So Second and four. To the 42 yard line. Second, Second and four. We'll nice play there four. in the backfield by Joshua Pearson. The lineup in the gun. Or, excuse me, in the pistol formation now. Gonna get that one two Pearson has a head of steam to spin move and falls forward for well, a gain about one there. one or two yards again. gain. Yep. Picks so maybe a yard brings up third down. We'll call it third three. down and three here. For the 43 yard line. 452 remaining, tied at six apiece. The Ortho Carolina Middle School Sports Championships from Piedmont High School, just outside of downtown Charlotte. Pistol again. As he'll have Pearson to his right. And it is out. Screen play just gives it inside, breaks one tackle back up the field. And he's right there. The Looks like have enough to move the chains. He definitely did get the first down. Ruling an electrical first down, the household name. Quality and trust. And that's Ja'Kai Rankin on the reception for the Piedmont Pirates first down. Backfield right then. They actually had Jonah, Jonah Holloway. As here's a pitch just outside the left. And the pass is incomplete. Intended for Mobley. Pass was intended for number just 11. Just too much Jeremiah there. On the Second arm of Zay Duckett. I'll tell you this, Piedmont Pirates coaching staff, they really like what they see in Zay Duckett. Had a good season for them, and they really like what he's all about. The 48-yard line as the winds are starting to pick up here on a beautiful fall afternoon at Piedmont High School. The gun once again. And he Dug breaks off. This one hands this one is break, breaks that off. And what do you know? I think the game plan so far is Joshua Pearson. If it don't broke, don't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. He's been running that way for the last three weeks. There's a look right there for Costa Hedy pulling an electrical first down. They're our replay. First and ten for the Pirates. That's here once again. Fakes hands off here, goes left. Out in the flats to Mobley. Mobley. Mobley now will be hit out of bounds, but that'll be just enough for Acosta. First down. That's another, for another Piedmont. First down. First down and 10 for the Pirates as they continue to drive in ransom territory. So first down, and that will move the chains once again. And I'll put them right outside the red zone for Piedmont. Nice drive here for Piedmont. Yes, so definitely. The Pirates are kind of switching it up. They're doing some different things on offense. And a couple of whistles coming in late. We'll see. We might have a timeout. Yeah, we do. Piedmont. A timeout for Piedmont. So they'll take one here. 321 to go. Tied at six apiece. They take one, we'll take one ourselves. We'll be right back here on Bay Hackle Sports.
back at Mallard Creek High School. Tied at six apiece for Anson Middle and Piedmont. As Piedmont starting to drive and put together a nice drive here so far. Just outside the red zone here, 25 yard line. And boy, it's thanks, thanks to a lot of uh, shifty little running back you have there in Joshua Person. And, and how about VTO putting this whole uh, thing together here? This has been outstanding uh, middle school playoffs, championship. This is something great that VTO has put together, and we're looking forward for next year. Here we go. So for the 26-yard line here, there's a deep ball right here. Throwing A all alone by himself. Touchdown. Oh, what a play. Throws it in the end zone from the arm of Zayden Duckett. The guard from Duckett to Randleman. Kellen Randleman now was all alone, broke away from two defenders. Take another look. Look at this arm throwing deep. Turned around last second, had his head shifted the other way, and then back towards the ball. What an outstanding throw and play, and they'll something, take the lead. Something I love about that, to be in middle school and to track the ball the way he did. For the two-point conversion, and they will be stopped. The extra point attempt is no good. 314 left to so go two point here conversion before will half. Work, but still, 12-6 for Piedmont in there. And 12 to six. Take another look right here. What a play. Had his head shifted to the right. Didn't see anything back to the left. Right. Ran away from two defenders in double coverage and put it in the end zone. And... That's a 25-yard touchdown from Zuck, from Duckett to Rendleman. Well, what an outstanding play, throwing that into the end zone and using that deep ball. I mean, we really don't talk about having middle schooler, or, or excuse me, don't talk about having, you know, 30 yards at least in the air. Correct. Where he threw it and saying that's a big arm. But, hey, we got to remember, guys, these are middle schoolers out here throwing the ball and whipping it across. That was a great play. Didn't overthrow it. He's had a couple overthrows early in the game. I think he's starting to sell down here. Yes, a bit. definitely, definitely. And some of these high schools there in the area, I know they're going to, they're definitely going to be looking forward to these uh, kids coming to play for them next year. You talk about high school coaches right here. They, as we get ready for the Queen City Appliances kickoff here, when you see, you know, high school coaches, they come to events like this. I, I have to assume that they come to an event like this for uh, just to see kind of their players here that are playing in middle school. They don't get to see them many in, in big championships, especially against a, a team right here, two good teams that are playing each other. I have definitely seen quite a few of the high school coaches in Charlotte. They are definitely out here now. So they know what's going on, and they want to get a hand on these players uh, before uh, other teams uh, get a hold of them. So they're definitely going to identify with those guys and make sure they get them on their squad. So that onside little pooch kick, it was a really good pooch kick right there. Advance from our from our visiting range. Travel just ten yards. The concession stand is now open. Take over. The concession stand is now open. So once you are in the bowl, we do ask that you please do not go on the track. The concession stand and all of the amenities is open on the visiting sideline for the home team, the Piedmont Pirates. So here we go, we starting from the 46-yard well. line. The concessions and the amenities start are available. No one should be on the track at any time. 3 Thank 12 you. to go remaining. And be sure to stay with us for the Downer Law Firm halftime. Here's Watson now. He's, he's gonna going to launch deep. this one himself. He's got one man downfield. And no, he couldn't come down to the ground. They gave it to him. Are they going to give it to him? They gave it to him. Now the question is, did he complete the process of the catch right here? Let's take another look. A deep one downfield. We'll see right here. Catches it. Brings up first down and goal. What do we looks, think here, Quinn? It looks like he definitely and held on to that. And that was number four, uh, Rico McCrory on the reception. And they called that a quick one. So are, are we going to take a look at it? We'll see. But that's a that's a pretty big question mark right now, I guess. And in, in today's football world, it's all about what is even even as a catch anymore. But. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we don't have replay. Yeah, they're going to keep that one up the middle, up the middle, and he's going to break a tackle. A flag, a late flag comes in there. Just as he was getting to the three-yard line, we'll see what the call is going to be. Uh, looks like it's in the area of holding. Penalty is holding. And that's what will be holding on the offense. Again, Branson. So I'll back things up here a little bit. Had a little room up the middle, but okay. They did call it a catch. That was a fantastic catch yes, down indeed. field. Yes, indeed. Great there play by McCrory, who made that big touchdown earlier, that big sprint turning on the Jets. He got away from the defender. That was a great play. And as in previous games that they played throughout the playoffs, I think it comes down with a lot of these teams are evenly matched. I think it comes down to whoever makes the least, least mistakes. That was one of your keys you said in the pregame earlier. So we're going to back things up here a little bit. Having a couple conversations here with the refs about ball placement. And they are going to put this one, looks like, at the 18. Brings up first down and goal. Ball will be placed at the 18-yard line. And the clock will begin moving again here. 2.31 and counting. 12-6. to six And Ransom trying to tie things up here. And, and I have the opportunity to go for two and take a two-point lead into the break. And we have a timeout here Time from out. Piedmont. Piedmont. And Vans, North Carolina is we'll committed to empowering with those who may be impacted by injury. So it's 12 to 6 so far. Piedmont now. You know, excuse me, a ransom now. That big play down, down the field was great. You know, and they've, they've really years. executed well. Whether but, coach, you know, we talk about, like, this little uh, this middle school championship that we have right here. First time this has ever happened. What's your reaction? Definitely, definitely. This has been going on in the city of Charlotte for a minimum of about 15 years where you have different conferences who think they're the best team and they go undefeated. And now we're getting an opportunity to find out who's the best team. It's an excellent opportunity, for, and especially the folks out at VTO Sports, who originally started as an idea as, as uh, the owner. One of his kids asked him, why doesn't the middle schoolers ever have a championship? They see these big championships, and, and obviously in the NFL, and college, and high school, you know, all different types of sports, and, and, and soccer. And, um, why doesn't middle school have any sort of championship? Well, they're doing this out here today. An excellent opportunity for these kids to come definitely, out here and have definitely. the opportunity to, to play against, you know, higher, uh, you know, higher and, and better teams in, in school. And you have two teams that haven't lost in a very long time playing together yet. And I'm looking at these crowds. Piedmont has a better crowd than some of the high schools mm -hmm. in the yes. city. It's incredible. <laughs> Here's a play at the field. I'm going to keep this one up the middle. And he'll be taken down to the keeper to try and get the 20. And that right there just shows a little bit of a young quarterback right there. Went through his first read and immediately just took up the middle. Had a little time to stay, stay in, the, in the pocket a little bit right. longer, but uh, try to take off and yeah, he gets a. We're going to put him back a couple yards. It's going to make it second and goal from the 20. Reminder, fans, both concession stands are open. We do ask that you please do not go on the track or on the field at any time. You must be in the stands. You must be in the stands. So once again from the gun, which is something that we have seen on both sides here in middle school football. Jamil Watson back behind the center. Watson again in the gun. Watson. This one will throw into the end zone and just too high. Too high. Definitely was there. And Davion Hubert was there. And incomplete. Middle school, I'm going back with the same play. Create a little separation and just a little too high. And, and we've seen that a little bit uh, today out of Jamil Witts. A lot of overthrows from him today. And, and, and like you said, I think, you know, you, you go back on the same type of play. See if he can create some space there from the slot. A nice post route to get to the end zone, just, just too high, but right. a good route there to kind of create some space to get open. From the 20 again. Third and goal. Watts in the gun. I'll take that one back. I'll do a screen again. Here we screen. go. Oh, here he goes. He's got open space. 
didn't cut inside the middle, which I was surprised where yeah. his blockers were Yes, at. he definitely had blockers in front. And he'll move his way inside the 10. But take another look right here. Look at this. Had a lot of open space if he just cut inside. And a lot of his blockers there could have helped him out. And move out to the left. And really just shows you. Remember, these are kids right, right. here. You know, they're, they're still getting used to this type of stuff. But overall, a nice play, and it's going to make it fourth and goal from the eight-yard line. <laughs> and a timeout. Time and Piedmont, that's their Piedmont. second. So a few timeouts right here. Here and in, just inside. We're fans, don't forget coming up later. Don't forget to join us for our halftime show presented by Downer Law and Firm. Tonight's halftime report will be brought to you by the Charlotte's hometown legal team. If you are injured, call the Downer Law Firm. So fourth and goal right here. 32 what you, seconds. What do you draw up? Um... I'm going for whatever works. Uh, a few passive plays. I'm looking at that slant. Looked like they were playing off earlier. I'm probably going to go back to that uh, screen play. Looks like something they were successful with. Um, we'll see what happens. So 12 to 6. Fourth and goal. An opportunity. And this is a big one right here. This is an opportunity to, because Piedmont will get the ball to start the second half. And Ransom now inside the eight, a big play here with 32 seconds left, as I would imagine Piedmont will just knee it and get to halftime if they do come up with the stop in his defense. 32 seconds here from the eight. Once again, work with Assad Davis in the backfield. What do they do? Roll out with Jamil Watson. Rolls right with Watson. He's going to throw in the end zone and too high. No flags. And that will be a turnover on downs. Yes, indeed. For the Raiders. And the Pirates will take over. Another look right here. Just too high for McCrory, who's had a couple of those slip away. Just be too high. And that should do it for the first half I believe we should have a QB Neal right here to take us to the break and I believe that's exactly what they're going to do take us to break and that's the half with our Piedmont Pirates 12 Ransom Raiders 6 and 15 seconds left in running right there so that will do it Fans, don't forget to join us right here for the Acosta Heating, Cooling, or excuse me, the Downer Law Firm Halftime. We'll be right back from play. 12 to 6. It's 12 to 6. Piedmont.
And welcome back to Piedmont High School as we get set for the Downer Law Firm Halftime Report, your hometown legal team alongside Quentin Brown, Iron Ford, Mark. Quentin, uh, a lot to like out of uh, the first half that we saw there. A lot of great plays. Um, but unfortunately, Ransom had the opportunity to tie the game. Couldn't do so they did. that Piedmont defense. And it goes back to what I've said previously is that I think it's coming down to whoever makes the least amount of mistakes will put us there. Don't forget fans, don't forget to watch live 11 p.m. on Friday. The Blitz, here on Bay Hackle Sports, streaming live on BayHackleSports.com. We're tonight, Blue Cross Blue Shield, North Carolina. Uh, it's going to be Independence and Butler. Yes, they great play game. The winner of Weddington and Grimsley. What an outstanding matchup we have coming up for that. Coach McFadden and Coach Hales of Butler. Awesome game. That's going to be great. Well, we'll be right back with the Donner Firm halftime report with some highlights and breakdowns of the first half here on BayHackleSports.com. Beautiful November afternoon here at Mallard Creek High School back here on Bay Hackle Sports, the Downer Firm, Downer Law Firm halftime report. Your hometown legal team alongside Clint Brown, I'm Ford Martin. An exciting first half, as we just mentioned right here. And take a look, a couple of the highlights from that first half. And I'll tell you what, Jamal Watson throwing right there, uh, Rico McCrory there, turning on the Jets down the yes, sideline. A yes. lot like about from him today. Yes, yes, Rico has made two great receptions today. Uh, one for a TD and one for an unbelievable catch inside the red zone. Uh, all about that Piedmont defense. They came in clutch late. That was right after a fourth and 20 as they went for it. Piedmont didn't put it in the back of the end zone, but a couple draws later. How about the shiftiness from Joshua Pearson? Joshua, Joshua. And on the defensive side for Piedmont has been all day Jeremiah Mobley. Person being a shifty for runners, he is punched his way all the way down to the five yard line, and then uh, unfortunately came up short on that one. But right there, that screen play again, we're showing that again from McCory, turning on the Jets down the sideline, putting it for the touchdown. He was targeted a few other times in this game, but couldn't put it in the back of the end zone other than that one time. But he was off to a good start. But how about this right here again by Person up the middle, shifty runner. And about 15 or so, he's been everywhere. And he's been doing that uh, 
throughout the week, uh, last week for the playoffs and the, and the week before, uh, his, his name has definitely been called off him. How about this play? We talked about it, turning his head back around and seeing it put it into the end zone. Kellen Randleman right there, what a play. Had his head turned right, turned back left, the ball's right there and locating that. And here's one, something you and I had a couple questions on is, was this a catch, was it not? It came out late, was the process of a catch? But the refs called it a catch. Hey, we don't have replay in middle school. So that's gonna do it right there for our highlights here. For our ball form halftime report, our downer law firm halftime report. We'll be right back right here. Mallard Creek High School. Welcome back to Piedmont High School here, just outside of downtown in Charlotte, North Carolina. 12 to 6 right now. Piedmont leading the way. Piedmont right there getting stretched out and all set for the second half of play. Here in Mallard Creek High School, an opportunity for these middle schoolers to show themselves a little bit for a championship. Two teams that have not lost, and it feels like almost forever back again together today you know as we mentioned pregame ransom has not lost in five plus years and piedmont pirates not lost in nine years and here he goes again for the second half of play quentin what would you like to see here in the second half right here we'll start with uh piedmont what are some things that you would like to see where they can kind of take this game away here a little bit more well piedmont seemed to me what they were doing they started spreading the ball out getting around doing some different things on offense uh, from the beginning when they first got the ball, they seem to be more run heavy. Now they're throwing out into the flats, taking some shots downfield, and they've been successful doing it. Now we look at Ransom. They got stalled there in the red zone. They couldn't put in the back of the end zone to tie the game. What more would you like to see out of them? Obviously, we saw McCrory there and what, how he was utilized in the first half. Do we see a little bit more of him down the stretch here in the second half? What adjustments would you have? Uh, on, on the Ransom side. I think with, with Ransom, one of the things that they definitely have to do is figure out how to finish. They're getting there, they're getting in the red zone, and they, the opportunities are there, but they're not finishing. So that's something that they're going to have to figure out on their side of the ball. And we have a great ball game now, 12-6, to 6, and it can definitely go either way. 
So about a minute and 40 before we get started here for the second half of play and getting ready for the Queen City kickoff. What a beautiful crowd. Beautiful weather out here today to have everybody out here in attendance for tonight, or excuse me, this afternoon. Excuse this time of year, you're thinking a little bit like, oh, hey, it's it's going to be a little cold, but it really turned out to be a beautiful day for the fans to be out in attendance, watching middle school football. And, and what a really, and we talked a little bit about in the first half, what a great opportunity for these kids to kind of be put on a stage. They have uh, a lot of undefeated seasons. Yes, yes. But now they have the opportunity to come out here and uh, play in front of a big crowd, play on a big high school football stadium here on a beautiful field and uh, be on the broadcast TV, everything, a championship, something to really play for. It's an awesome opportunity. Yeah, it's something that they'll be able to share with their kids once they get older. And to have the opportunity to be at a middle school level and have a high school crowd is incredible and a great opportunity and they should definitely cherish this forever. And this is the first annual uh, middle school championship of Charlotte. I think it's a great idea and I look forward to the, the future for this for this event because they're doing an excellent job in putting this all together. And we want to thank Ortho Carolina. There they are, the official sports medicine providers of the middle school sports championship. So uh, glad to have them out here for it. And, and helping put this great opportunity for these kids. And, and a big shout-out to, to uh, the folks at VTO Sports uh, for really kind of putting forward and, and kind of getting this set up. They had the opportunity for uh, $200 for each team. That was a top two in each district to submit their, their team and, and apply for it. And, and uh, there are two great teams that are here right now. So looking forward to a, a great second half. Uh, do we see Piedmont start to pull away in this game right here? What, what do we think? What do you need? It, it, to me right now, uh, Piedmont seems like they're, they're getting in rhythm. Um, so it's something that, you know, uh, the, uh, our other squad there, the Ransom Raiders, are going to have to figure it out. Yeah, they're going to have to figure out how to finish and to stay in this game. They definitely had the opportunity to make that happen. They definitely had the players to make it happen. So we'll, we'll see what happens. A couple uh, last-minute uh, movement here as we're trying to get set up and get the second half underway. Ransom breaks their huddle as they get ready and, and try and bring this back to a tie ball game. But Piedmont will get the ball here to start this second half as Ransom was the one that had the ball to start out the game. Ransom, of course, in the all-white, as you can see there on your screen. Piedmont in the gray and red. Second half of play here from the Creek. Now the Creek High School here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful. The track, to the Perfect day shuffle. out here for some middle school football and a couple of these fans out here. We mentioned, you know, some crowds sometimes better than some, some high school football oh, yeah, crowds that we've had. In definitely. Here today. Piedmont travels extremely well. It, it's just incredible as I look out and to the stands. Man, what from side to side, this crowd is really packed, packed house out here. As we get set up, Piedmont is all set, waiting for Ransom to come on the field to, to kick this one off and away. 12 to 6 is your score. Eight minute quarters, two eight minute quarters coming up here. As we're waiting on them to come out of the field here as we get set. Alongside Quentin Brown, I'm Ford Martin. We're glad to have you here with us today on Bay Hackle Sports and BayHackleSports.com as the Queen City kickoff. Video audio and appliances about to kick off right here and of course is just all game Jamil Watson will be handling kickoff duties here for the Raiders Coach Ransom there in the all white they get the signal to go, and here we go. And Jamil Watson seems to do everything for the Raiders. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything, but either way, here we go. A little pooch kick on side to try and fall on it, and a nice spin move to try and miss that first tackle. We'll see who what that was. I want to say that was... The outside kick is recovered Hall. by Piedmont. 
So Hall there with a nice spin move there to grab that spin move and kind of fall forward for an First extra two. So they'll start here from the 45-yard line. line. First and 10, Piedmont on the 45. So make his way out in the field again is going to be Zayden Duckett. Big arm quarterback from here in this middle school championship game. Threw a touchdown earlier on the 30-yard touchdown to Kellen Randleman. And, and now we'll start this draft for the 45. Yep, and this will be a big series for the Raiders. Going to hand this one off to, why not? Give it up to Person. Person now breaks the tackle and falls his way forward across midfield the to the 46-yard line. Person. Looks like about a nine-yard carry. And they're going to put him at the 48 here. Okay, well, about a seven yards. Brings up second down and two. Put a late switch in here as Jonah Holloway will come in. He's one of the other backs that's been playing in there in that Piedmont backfield. Here's Duckett. Off the move, running room out to the right side. A lot of running for just one yard. Yes, side to side. Got to keep it upfield. So they will take Holloway out of the game. And they'll sub in him for Jeremiah Mobley, who's kind of been their downfield deep threat here this afternoon. So third and two. And based on the way this game is, we're just joining us here. Been really no punts. We've really seen these teams really go for it on fourth down. Earlier in the game, Ranson went for it on fourth and 20 on their own 20-yard yes, line. So yes. don't expect any punters here in this one if you're just now joining us. I don't think we've had a punt the entire game. I don't think so. Don't know if there's any punter on the team here. But either way, third and two. Going to hand this one right up the middle. Squirts a tackle. Spins yeah. back out to the right side. Here's Person. Again. Person now has running room inside the 20. Down to about nearly the 19-yard line. What a play and what a run there by Person. He's been the guy to start this game. Definitely, definitely. Joshua Person. Here's another look here at this one there. Great in-between tackles. Great open field running. A great play there. Puts him inside. They're actually going to move it right back to the 21. For an Acosta heating and cooling electrical first down. In the backfield again, trying to get the play from the sideline here for Duckett. Duckett now looked left. He's going to keep it. Clutch, he's going to keep it down for the 20, for the 15, and knocked out of bounds just before the marker around the 12 yard line. Looks about two yards short of the first down. The the look right there, he tried to line. think about a little, try to go for it, then he clutched it again and decided to keep it. Sort of stumble his way there a little bit right there. I don't know. He's a big guy. I don't know if I would have just ran through those guys. Either way, from the gun, from the 12, needs to get a yard. They'll throw a screen pass and just through the hands. Just couldn't bring it in. I believe that one was, was Rankin. To number five, Ja'Kai Rankin. Yep, that was number five, Ja'Kai Rankin. Brings up third down and short. Third and short now. About the 13. Need a yard right here for Piedmont to extend this drive. Two downs for two. And this one again, why not? Give it over. Throws it inside. Person stretches his way oh, into man. the end zone for the touchdown. It's that guy again. What a play by nice. Person. Number two, Joshua Persons. He just he's he's every every game is the same result. Broke one tackle, two tackles, and makes his way into the end zone. What a game for Joshua Person, without a doubt. Probably the player of the game so far. Yes, definitely, definitely. So as always, no kicker. They will go for two on Piedmont extending their lead 18 to six. A 
As it gets set for the two-point conversion. Make sure everyone is all set. They hand that one off to Person, and what do you know? Dives his way into the end zone. So makes that 20 to 6. We might have to change uh, Joshua Person's name to Joshua TD Person. Yeah, that's exactly right. Right here from the gun, and you got to know if you're Ransom, hey, they're going to have to try handing the ball off to this kid. One, two, three tackles averted and puts it up the end zone. Here's a two-point conversion from the pistol, hands it off, and usually, you know, when you see, hey, we're going to be a shotgun on short distance runs, you're thinking as a fan, what are you doing? Just have be under center and hand it off to him. Hey, when you have a guy like Joshua Person has a head of steam coming downfield like that, shifty runner, he's the guy. Got to put it in. Got to put it in his hands no matter what. Get that get that momentum going and right there, put in the end zone to extend the lead to twenty to six. And, and if you're Ransom here, you, you need to make something happen. And he's definitely been consistent throughout the playoffs. Same results. So now with Ransom, who are you looking to here? Is, is, it, is it really you're looking for Jamal Watson to say, hey, you, you got to get us back in this ball game right here? The guys that have been the guys throughout the, uh, the playoffs have definitely been Asad Davis and, uh, and Watson. Those are their guys. Those are the guys that have been consistent. So I'm thinking those are the guys they're going, going for. The Queen City audio, video, and appliances kickoff. For Piedmont. Jonah Holloway, they're going to pooch kick it. Oh, they're going to maybe get it. They, they got did. it. They got it. Wow. Piedmont is going to fall on it. And if you're Ranson, how do you allow that to happen? They, uh, it's almost like they watched. Well, you've seen it here. If you're, if you're Ranson, Every kick so far in this game, it's been a pooch except kick. the opening kickoff, has been a pooch kick. Or they were playing it like they were deep, yes. like he was going to do a regular kickoff. Now Piedmont, they have just come out blistering, and what a start to the second half for the Pirates. Yeah, you're definitely, uh, um, it seems as though uh, Piedmont definitely has the momentum now, and um, this, is, this is a big series for Ransom to, to get a stop. With only 5.05 left in the third quarter, you know, these these short quarters go by really fast. Ranson needs a big one, that's for sure. They need a big strike. And the pistol. Behind the line is person, and it takes three guys to get him down, and I think everyone from that Ranson defense, they knew exactly who that ball was probably going to go to, yes. and they were all over him, and a loss and a loss of about three or four. Four yard line brings up second down and long for Piedmont. And Phillip Poole on the stop who plays both ways for the Raiders. Stopped in the backfield. Which is going to make it second and 17. They're not going to give him that forward progress. From the 44. Thought about the deep shot under pressure in the back of the zone. Almost lost the ball. Juggled it in through his hands and taken down for the sack. And the pressure was Asad Davis. So Davis gets his hand in that one and yeah, I'll tell Davis, you what. Davis definitely playing both sides of the ball. Duckett um, very lucky too. He didn't he didn't fumble yes. that ball. He fumbled it for just a second, which made him kind of stutter there for a bit. Down and long. It's only lost about a half a yard there. Third down. And a lot. And this one right up the middle. There's person again. Up the middle and squirts his way about a yard short of the first down. What a and run. that's got to be a killer for the person defense. Or excuse me, the Ransom defense. I said person so much today. Yeah. <laughs> person gets the ball to the 40-yard line, brings up fourth down and one. And I don't think they're punting right now. 
Uh, I wouldn't think so either, especially in this type of territory. Uh, analytics would tell you to go for this one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're now moving the ball back to the 41-yard line, fourth down and two. Fourth and a long one. And the pistol again give it to Person. And he's, and he's taken down, and, and he is going to be stopped. Wow. By that Raider defense. And that's Jamil Watson. And that is a huge stop for Ranson. This game could have really gotten out of control quick. I guess the only way that Jamil Watson could get the ball back is to make the stop himself. So he's playing on both sides of the ball. Now he gets the opportunity to, to see what he can do on the offensive side. Big stop by Jamil Watson. So here he comes, step, makes the tackle, and he's back in a quarterback. will throw his right glove off, which he uses because he's also a linebacker. Gets his glove off and comes into the game. This time they're going to take an immediate shot downfield, a double coverage. And oh, it's caught. It's caught inside the 30 at the 28-yard line. A nice deep ball to Davian Hubert. Another look at this one. What a play. And I met some of his family members before the game, and his nickname is Goldie. So that's Davion Goldie Hugh. Goldie with a pretty much of a golden play. They needed a big strike, and they got it. Down to the 28-yard line. First and 10. Here's Watson in the gun. He'll look left. Another deep shot. And he's got Going a lot right of time. Back to him. And, and he's touchdown. Caught it. And they're going to say incomplete. The nearest official is going to say incomplete. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to look at that one again. We're going to have to take a look. We'll see it again. Back-to-back -back deep shots. Throws it long. And it's tough to see, especially if the camera's not on the ball. That angle. That angle, we weren't able to see it. There, I, I do see some wrestling on the ground right there, but the nearest official had the better angle of it. But either way, back-to-back -back deep shots. That one to McCrory, who could have hold that one down. Maybe it's a makeup call from earlier from hey, the, the er, earlier yes, earlier yes. deep shot. We don't know. Quarterback draw up the middle, and powers his way. Over his defender, down to the 26-yard line on the keeper from Watson. They'll place the ball about the 22-yard line. Third down. So here we go, just outside the red zone for the 21. Third and three for the Raiders. Watson for the gun. Got to do a keeper this time, and he's going to fall forward just inside the 20, but he's going to be short. Quarterback keeper, they place the ball at the 20-yard line, brings up a fourth down and short. So here we go. That's a huge down for Ransom. They need to get a yard, and they need to get into the end zone on this drive. They especially with – now if you look at counting the fourth quarter – you got 9.30, you got 9.10 remaining in this game. Need a big play here. Try to get him to jump offside. And a timeout. Timeout. By timeout. Piedmont. I Piedmont. think this is a very big key, you know, right yes. here. Yes. You know, if you're looking at especially on, on the Piedmont side, and your head coach, Leland Howard, this is an opportunity, I think, to tell your guys, like, hey, look, it's fourth and short. Right. Just, just be patient here. Don't move until you see them move on right here, this type of play. Because watch the ball. Don't want to give them a free first down. Definitely watch the ball. now for those unexpected moments by downloading the Hurt app tonight. Ortho Carolina. Provided by Ortho Carolina. Ortho Carolina is the official sports medicine providers of the middle school sports championship as they try to go for an Acosta heating and cooling and electrical first down here. Can they get it? We'll see as we're here in timeout. 57 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Here on Bay Hackle Sports and BayHackleSports.com. Appreciate all of our, our team being out here. 
our camera crew and producers and everyone behind the scenes coming out on this beautiful Saturday working with us. And beautiful, thank you, the fans, day. for joining us today. Here we go. And the piss need a yard. They're going to try to get him to jump offside, and he must not fold. Well, like a sneaker here. We'll see. And almost like a touch push play. And oh, he oh, powers his he way powers through, through the sneak. Had a little daylight, and he's going to get about seven or eight right there on yes. that sneak. Yes. I don't think I've ever heard of a quarterback sneak for seven or eight yards. Seven, eight Look at yards. that. Pushes his way. We got to talk about it. You know, going for one or two, and you end up with uh, first down. Hey, we got to talk about Jamil Watson. He's not a little guy. He's a pretty big guy. You know, to be in middle school right there. Punches his way forward, and they got at the ten. Actually, they're gonna put it right at the ten and a half, so they still can get a first down on this. Up the middle. By himself, splits a tackle it's and a walks in for the touchdown. Asad Davis. Asad Davis puts it in. And how about that one? Here's another look. Asad Davis breaking tackles and into the end zone for the touchdown. And Ransom definitely has the guys to make the plays to get him back in this ball game. Makes it a one-possession ball game either way. Try to make it six. And that was a big drive of your Ranson right there. Yes, yes. You have uh, Jamel Watson and Asad Davis and Rico McCrory have been big-time big, big time plays uh, for the Ransom Raiders. Now here's an interesting one. Jeremiah Mobley now has come in here, and he's going to act as if he's in the fullback position. He's in a lineup right there behind McCrory. He's going to be under center. They're going to do a handoff, and he's going to split his way into the end zone. The two-point conversion, they get it done. So after that long drive by Piedmont to extend their lead for 20-6, to Rancid comes down. Hey, you can do it. I can do it better. Punches into the end zone for the two-point conversion. We now have a six-point ball game. Yes, we got a ball game. And we were sitting here moments ago after that onside kick recovery by Piedmont. Thinking they're going to run away with the game. Thinking it was Piedmont's ball. A big tackle behind the line of scrimmage to prevent that first down. By Jamal Watson. Exactly, yes. Watson then takes the field down 60 yards into the end zone for a touchdown on a nice run and play there by Asad Davis. Six-point game leading into the fourth quarter. 27 seconds left in the third, though, however. And we're definitely going to possibly have to enter in Watson's name in the MVP based on the way he's playing. Got a lot of football to play. Some fans don't really realize, especially when it comes to middle school ball, how tough you know, two, you know, even two possession deficits really are. Just yeah. based on the ground game and, and trying to get exactly. back into the game, especially there's not much of a passing attack as we see in the high school and college sports area. But, you know, if, if Brantz could really make a comeback in this and have a, you know, a good defense like they had on that last drive after Piedmont got the onside kick, Rants can really get back in this game, and, and a lot can do with Davis and especially Jamal Watson. This game has overtime potential. They're going to do this one, kick this one away. That's going to be taken back up. Here's Piedmont here for the 40, and powers his way over. Runs over McCrory right there. Let's see what happens. Big series. First down and 10, Piedmont at the 45 yard line. We'll start this one now will be from the 45 yard line for Piedmont. 16 seconds to go. Before the fourth quarter. 20 to 14. Piedmont with the lead. In the gun again. Going to hand that one right up the middle. Give it to Person. Person splits a tackle and powers his way over midfield across the 45-yard line. 
And that will move the chains, and that will be another Acosta heating, cooling, and electrical first down. And that brings us to the end of So that will be the end the of the fourth quarter. It's going to be a good one. A Can Piedmont one. extend their lead? We'll find out when we come back. 2014 from Perth. Welcome back here on BayHackleSports.com for the Bay Hackle Sports Game of the Week, the Ortho Carolina Middle School Championships between the Piedmont Pirates and the Ranson Raiders. 20 to 14. The fourth quarter has begun. Eight minutes to the side of here. Alongside Quentin Brown, I'm Ford Martin. Glad to have you here with us today on a beautiful evening. Just outside of Charlotte. North Carolina and downtown. Beautiful weather and beautiful crowd. So Piedmont, if you're just now joining us in the gray, Ranson in the white. A lot of back and forth. A lot of going for on fourth down. And here we go. First to 10 now for the 44 yard line. And as usual, it's the Joshua Person show. Person now will hit immediately as he got the line of scrimmage. He might get one, possibly two if they gave the progress of falling forward. And they are going to keep it at second and nine. So running clock, 7.31 to go. Duckett, which will now be in the gun. He's in no rush right now. Oh, a screen, a fake pat, a fake run, and go up the middle. He's thrown out to the flats. And it looks like he might be about a half a yard short. He's hit right at the marker. We'll see what they say. And they are going to put him short, so it'll be a third and one. The pass is complete. Pick up on the play of about eight. And injury yeah, we have an injury player, which is tough to see. I come check on him, make sure he's okay. It's 6.48 to go. Going to go check on him right there. But overall, Piedmont here just. Yeah, they're they're really in 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 no rush right now. They're just taking their time. Definitely. And like I said, you know, it's 6:48 to go. Still a lot of time to go. You see some of the, the Queen City folks out here for the middle school championships coming to get some T-shirts ready at the trophy presentation when the eventual winner does happen. And they've done a lot of great stuff here for the you know, especially for these kids to have the opportunity to come out and and. Uh, and to have their own little little time, little moment. To, yeah, this to really is shine. this is definitely huge for the uh, the middle school kids throughout Charlotte to have the opportunity to play in a big game like this, 
and usually the last game of the season is over. They go home. But to be able to play in a big-time championship, huge crowd, uh, streaming live, incredible event. They get ready. A beautiful trophy that is, too. Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools trophy that has it on there. The Queen City Middle School Championships. Good fun, folks, at VTO Sports as our Ranger player is starting to make his way off the field. Round of applause for the injured. And that, I believe, I want to say is Kellen Randleman. Yes. He's, he's already had one touchdown today. He's the one that caught that big touchdown strike where he's twisted his head around on that big strike from Zayden Duckett. Had a conversation with the head coach and the AD in regards to Randleman, and they both said the same thing about this young man. He's a leader. Uh, unfortunately, we hope, hopefully it's not a serious injury. He can get back out on the field. So here we go. Both teams make their way back onto the field. It's 6.48 to go. Gone again. Now is going to be Duckett. Person to his right. And one's going to jump off sides. Oh, <laughs> unless McCoy that jumped <laughs> offside. And looks, that's going to be an automatic first down unless they call a false start. We'll see what they're going to call. It uh, looks like he was getting ready for a blitz and the momentum started and he couldn't stop himself. And I think he, he knew it. He just jogged right in between them and back to his side. That's going to be an automatic first down. And oh, boy, if you're, if you're Ransom, you're going to hate that. Yeah, that's a that's a big time uh, bad move. The clock will now move once again. First to 10 for the 30. And as mentioned, they are in no hurry whatsoever. Handoff now up the middle. Going to give it to Person, and Person hit right at the line. The I think it might fall forward for two. No gain on the play. Brings up second down and ten. It looks like uh, Piedmont. They're just taking their time, getting the first downs, and just keep the clock going. Duckett now under the gun. Two person, a lot of run plays to try and make this clock go. Here comes and Person. That guy again, person persons. now breaks one and he falls forward to the 10. I think we should say it again. He's that guy. He's that, that, guy. that guy that keeps there, moving up the there field. There goes that guy again. Breaking one tackle, using that stiff arm and took a couple of defenders. A swarm of white jerseys there trying to take him down. And here's a quarterback keeper up the middle. And it, that's interesting. It looks like he didn't want to try and go for the touchdown. He slid right at five. Gave him, try to give himself up. The quarterback keeper of the now, if that was a way he did it on purpose, second, that's a way where, yes, that five. could, you know, that really goal. keeps the clock moving. Yes, it takes definitely. a lot more clock off of the Ranson offense. It's a lot of... Uh, confidence you're going to punch this one to the end zone here pretty soon we have a guy like this who punches it into That's the it. end zone for the touchdown who else joshua person joshua touchdown joshua td person puts it into the end zone for the touchdown that's his new name and here it is using those jets and just cuts it inside. Breaks a tackle there from Drew Bradley for the Ransom defense, and they'll try and go for two here. Try and make it a two possession game.
try to extend on his two-possession game. They have right now. Rolling right outside, trying to point, trying to get some room. He's going to throw it. It's picked it off. Picked. Taken back the other way. This is returnable. No, no it is not. not. And the extra point attempt is no good. So at middle school, you are not allowed to return your point to after conversion. In high school, you can do that. But not in middle school. So the first turnover, at least actual turnover in the field, is how the turnover downs that we've had today. Right. So there we go. Take another look at this right here. This is a long run from side just outside the, the 31. Break a couple tackles down to the 10-yard line. Better choice. And punches it into the end zone for the touchdown. Nice play there. Nice drive for Piedmont when they really needed it to extend the drive. We go forward real quick. Four twenty-seven to go. Here from Mallard Creek High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. Right outside the 485 interchange on a beautiful field on a November fall evening. We'll try and keep this one off here away and we're gonna move the kickoff up here a little ways. Back though, both teams are a little confused. They're on the wrong side of the field. And they're gonna switch things back over. We'll kick this one back off of the 40 yard line. 26-14. And I say just like last time, where Ranson wasn't able to play up, they allowed that onside kick. They better be ready for anything just about right here. Ranson needs a big drive here. First, they have to make sure they don't get an onside kick. This time, this one's kicked far and away into the hands of the quarterback, Jamil Watson. He's going to pick that one up. He'll gain about, it's like, two for his jersey number. The ball is returned to the So 4.21 to go. Jamil Watson. What can he do? Now the last possession they had, back-to-back -back deep bombs. Now the second one, they didn't call it for McCrory. Right. They called it incomplete. But it shows you they're not afraid to throw the deep ball. Here. Definitely, definitely. I'm thinking that's something they're going to do real soon. Outside of the field and track. Again, no parents will be allowed on the field or track. Here we go. 26-14. Jameel Watson. They need a big strike, and they need it early. First down and 10 at the 23-yard line. So this drive will start from the 23. Watson now in the gun. Three receivers split out wide on the far side, one on the right. Watson now. He's not afraid to throw the deep ball. What he throws arm. it again. What an he arm. got some space Ooh. and just too far in front for Davian Hubert. Man, he has a cannon. And uh, you talk about the arm there, Jameel Watson. Second down for the 23. And another big strike like that one here, but they do need to get the first down and try to keep this drive going. Under pressure, a little screen pass and through the hands. And it looks like right there in the backfield of Jordan Bell, he actually probably saw that play happening right. and watching it transition. He stayed back a little bit, caught some traffic, 
and he probably calls Jamil Watson to you know, maybe double clutch that a little bit and not get it off cleanly. Yeah, it looked, it looked like that Piedmont, uh, they were trying to disguise, Ransom was trying to disguise the pass out in the flats and went back to the middle on the screen, and, and Piedmont definitely didn't fall for it. So here we go. For the 23 yard line. Taken back to the field, throw another screen pass through the hands. That one's caught. Taken out by the field. And it's like, where is he really going to mark him? It depends. They are going to keep the clock running. Yes, they are. A Davis. Tackled on the play at the 30 yard line. Asad Davis on the reception is fourth, is fourth down in about three yards. So here we go. Timeout. Timeout. Piedmont. And they're going to charge that one to Piedmont. That's going to be their first the second half. Right here with 3.52. They're taking a break. We're going to keep it here. Well, now you're Piedmont. You got a couple yards right there. It's going to make it fourth down and three. Um, it's you hear a lot of fans say over a course of a season they say, "Well, this play, this is the season. This is well, this is, this is the season right here this is in the championship game." Uh, what do you see as Ransom? You know they've they've tried a couple guys like Asad Davis. They've tried a couple different guys using McCory. You know even Jamil Watson's used his big body on that QB sneak. They got about you know seven eight yards right here. What do you look to do with Ransom? You have a lot of weapons, but it's all coming down to execution this one right here. I'm definitely I'm keeping the ball in the hands of the guy who's made it happen. So I'm definitely going to uh, go with uh, Watson on this to see what happens. He's been their guy on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball. So you got to go with the guy who's got this thus far. So from the 30-yard line, they need two, fourth and two. Here's the season now for Ransom. Coming out of the timeout by Piedmont, Jamil Watson, the guy who's effectively kept Ranson in this game. McCrory, you can't see him. He's the bottom of the screen on the far side. They are going to keep it Watson. Watson will sprint forward. He'll spin his way. I don't, I don't think he got, got it. Watson, it depends on the spot. We're going to see where they're going to mark him. They gave him a pretty favorable spot. We'll see. Yeah, that's close. One official is waving him, saying he got it. For asking to move the chains, are they going to give it to him? They are. First down, First Ranson. Down. Wow. And he, I mean, you talk, that's using your big body, big power by Ranson. From that shot right there, I don't think he got it. He looked like he was about a half a yard short. And they brought in a big guy, Reggie Chambers, to block for him, number 11. Well, either way. They're going to keep it first down, and here comes Watson now. He tries to spin his way out of it, throws a Watson stiff arm, and falls forward just before the 40. But uh, they're going to need a, couple, a little more than these little tiny little five-yard, six-yard runs here. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Now, how challenging, especially being down late right here by two possessions, you need to pace it up a little bit. What is it like for a middle school quarterback? You're having to be very fast-paced when you try to keep things simple. What is that like? Uh Hey, your answer is good as mine. I have, I have no clue what this young man is thinking right now. Uh, well, they're going to throw a deep They're going one. deep. He's going to throw it, and, and it's, it's intercepted. intercepted. And let's see who that one was by. By Piedmont of number 17. What a play there by Miles Davis. The first time we've called his name all day. Big play. 26 14, 248 to go. And, and and that's something right there where if you're if if you're Ranson, you had to make you had to do a play like that. Yep. You're down two If it was one possession, that's one thing. You're down two possessions, under three minutes to go. Uh, that's something where you need to make that type of play happen. 
So here we go. Branson's going to try and say they could do anything. Try and cause a turnover here to try and get the ball back and try and make something happen. They're going to throw the ball outside. Going to give it to Holloway, and he's tackled the behind the line of scrimmage. Complete. They have a little questionable as far as they've been running the ball all day. That they're going to throw it, which would stop the clock. And look at that trophy right there waiting. Possibly for Piedmont right here, the way it's looking. But this was complete to number six, Jonah Holloway. Anything is possible. With, and we've seen with mid middle school and high school, anything is possible right here. We'll see if Rancic can try and force a turnover here to get the ball back. They will have it. If it does happen, at the 20-yard line. So it's not over yet, but we'll see. They need something big to happen, and they need it to happen now. Quick score, onside kick, score. The shift is a lot of running. The hand Did not the get a yard. Timeout, timeout by Ranson. Now, here's something I'm going to bring up to you. Presentation is immediately following the contest. Trophy it's going to be third down here. Both teams immediately following and they don't the get 10 yards right here to first down. Line. As a reminder, no one is allowed on the, you track punt the ball. On the field at I'm punting. <laughs> it'll, it'll be the, the field first field punt of the game. game. I think that's where you did ask, like, <laughs> hey, who's got the biggest <laughs> leg on the team? Yeah, yeah I'm punting. I know we had to punt the whole game. This situation, I'm punting. You don't want them to get them in field position to score, kick an onside kick, they're back in it. Twenty six fourteen minute fifty six to go. This is a big down right here to kind of put put Piedmont what they are going to end up doing. And fans, if you are joining us late, we have not seen a punt today. A lot of going forward on fourth down. Here we go. And CMS is informing me that there are plenty of people on the track. The visitor's gate is open. Going to hand the ball off so up across the 20. visitors must exit through the visiting gate. No one is allowed on the track. The visiting gate is open. No one is allowed on the track at any time during the contest. So now, this is going to make it interesting. Do we see our first punt of the day? Well, we got some instructions from one of the fans. <laughs> we'll see who's Again, the best player. We're seeing thing. more and more fans from the visiting side heading onto the track. You must not be on the track. CMS has informed us that any people on the track must exit through the visiting side only. So a couple of fans here trying to make their way and, and trying to head to the exits here. They are on the, the track for the PA Center. Trying to give it to them today. We'll... But either way, Piedmont, they're starting to feel it now. We'll see what they do here on fourth down. Try to see who's the best punter on the team, possibly. Something to be careful of, too, at the same time. With 151 remaining in this one. And it looks like they might, they might be lined up in punt formation. Something we haven't seen all day. Here we go. Nope. Fourth first, down. They're going to punt, punt this of the game away. With 151 remaining. Here we go. Make sure you get the snap. And that one, he finally gets away. A good punt. Right outside. Oh, he almost lost it there. The quarterback now, Jamil Watson. Watson will now get it to the 35. The to the hey, look, that's about of a swing of first down around 15 Wilson. yards. So, I guess if you're middle school, that's a, I guess a good punt. You get 15 yards right there. It's still a long way away, but it's still a minute 40 remaining. And took off, they took off a little clock there. Yeah, the they did. Yeah, they did. 140 remaining in the game, 26-14. Piedmont. From the 36. Watson needs a big strike, and they need it now. Piedmont back into cover, too. Slant, oh, almost picked. picked off. Oh, 
Moss intercepted. Marty Connor trying to step inside right there in that Marty throw. Connor. Second down and ten. So minute 36 to go, fourth quarter, 26-14, Piedmont with the lead. Watson now in the gun. He'll roll left under pressure, gets away. He's going to throw a deep shot downfield and incomplete. I was wondering what it was tipped up in the air trying to fall into the ground. We'll see if it's going to be we're trying to see if it's going to be one of those little freak plays where it falls right in the lap. And then looked like he threw it into triple coverage. I want to say that was intended for McCrory. He's already had one touchdown today. Third and ten for the 36. Need to get to the 28-yard line for a first down. Throws this one across the middle, is picked off! And sits down immediately, and Piedmont will pick that one off, and they look to be on their way for the first ever Ortho Carolina Sports Medicine Provider Middle School Sports Championship. That looked like that was uh, Miles Davis again. He's made some big plays. Is that two, two That's picks? That's his second pick of the day. He's also a contender for one of our players of the game, but I think right now as this one's just about wrapped up, uh, I think as much as Miles Davis has really come in clutch down the road, they wouldn't have gotten to that spot without Joshua Person. Uh, most definitely. Yeah, he's been definitely that guy. So the Pirates are on their way to their first championship as they'll look to run out this clock. And the fans here are, are starting to realize as they are rocking this place here at Mallard Creek. And look at that, dumping the, and you can't get on our screen here, but they just dumped on their head coach a bucket of Gator, a Gatorade bucket right on him on the sidelines. As Leland Howard will lead it. They take the knee. That's the game. Like they're going to call it right there. 28 seconds left on the clock. They're going to run it out. The kids are going crazy. Your Piedmont Pirates are your first ever Queen City Middle School champions. What a game. And look here, your Ortho Carolina play of the game. Who else? Joshua Person, the shifty runner he is, broke about three, four tackles to get to the 10, leading up to his touchdown right here, getting outside, bouncing outside the tacklers for a five yard touchdown on route for Piedmont winning the match here tonight. Quinn, any last minute thoughts here before we sign off here for this first ever middle school championship? What an exciting game. Uh, nice fan base. Looking forward to it next year. And there we go. What a game tonight as we get set, as far as, as, far as they get set for their championship presentation.
So thank you for everybody joining us. Alongside Quentin, I'm Ford Martin. We'll see you next time.